Hey guys, uh, this is Minus Gorgon. Um, this is my first tutorial on Blender, and uh, I'm just getting my site up. Uh, we're gonna have renderings that I've done, to uh, downloads and tutorials. Um, when it's all done, it should be really good. Um, there's gonna be a lot of stuff on here. There's, I'm gonna have. 3D models that I've done, and uh, you can submit yours and uh, put yours up. All right, let's get started. Today I'm going to show you how to model a basic sword, and later on I'm going to get into how to make it look really nice. And um, all right, hit three on your numpad, rotate it. Come back around here, go into edit mode select this line, press 3 again, drag that down to about right there, press 3, drag that up about right there, go into object mode, press S6 to scale it up on the X axis. If you want, depending on how thick you want it, you can SY. I'm just going to stick with this right here. Scale it down. I'm going to go into edit mode, select this face, press E to extrude and size it down to right here. I'm going to go into vertices, select, select all of these, press W, merge at center. So now we have a fairly decent looking blade. Okay, I'm going to press 7, go in the top mode, go into edit mode, add mesh, or add cube. Drag it to about here. Size it up to about like that. Press 3, S, Z, and make it about right there. Go into face select, select this face, extrude, that's what she said, um, size it up about right here, and then select this one, go about here, want it to get as even as you can. That looks good. Okay. Now, um, you can choose to do this or not, but I'm going to click this face right here and control L to select everything linked to it. W subdivide and do that about four times or uh, uh, four times. Okay, and then we're going to go here, go to Modifier, Subsurf. So now we have that. And then I'm going to go down here and press Set Smooth. And then I'm going to go uh, Subsurf Level 2. Okay, now we're going to go here, extrude this. And you can do whatever you want, but I'm just going to, I'm going to do this right here. size this down a little bit. I hit three to make sure that looks all even and that looks pretty good so far. Alright. Now you're going to want to start on the handle. I'm going to add mesh cylinder rotate it on the y-axis by 90 degrees drag that over here hit 3 
size it up. Regular handle. I'm going to make mine a little bit longer than it needs to be. Okay. You can play with it and do whatever you need, but um, it's looking pretty good. So, let's put a little detail into this. I'm going to make that a little bit wider. Go into this. Extrude, size down. That may look a little goofy, but for time's sake, I'm going to keep it how it is. Alright. I'm actually just going to do this. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do here is... Uh, a lot of the different swords that you model are going to have a strange uh, effect to them where the, they'll crease down in the middle right here. We don't want that, so what we're going to do is E, X, extrude to this, and size it way down. Actually, what we're going to do now, yeah, we'll just do that. And um, that'll give it a nice finish. Two. Okay. Play with the blade to compensate. And yeah, that's pretty much how you make a basic fantasy sword. I'm going to make a few um, changes here. Just minor. Oh. Minor changes. want to make a good rendering you can make a camera in the middle stretch it all the way up here press um, zero on the numpad and go under here and then put it right in the middle there go here to make it a black background press F12 and there's your sword to size it up a little bit. Select this. There's your sword. All right, guys. Thanks. You have a good. You have a good day.